guys, this is Andrew Reversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm gonna to show you our newest sample library, Shreddage 2, Absolute Electric Guitar. This is the true sequel to the original Shreddage sample library. We took the basic concept of a realistic rock and metal instrument, and we completely expanded it. Um, we've gone from sampling just a few frets on a few strings to all frets, all seven strings, more articulations, an advanced scripting engine, everything you can want, and the best part is that it's just as intuitive as the original library. Like the original, this is a direct in or clean library by default. So if you play it, it sounds something like this. Now, if you amp it up, say using Revolver HPSE, it sounds like this. So of course, that is the distorted tone that you would expect from a library like this. But the advantage is that because we sampled so many frets and so many strings, you can really use it for a wide range of styles. And if you check out some of our demos, you can hear that you can use it for pop, you can use it for even jazz if you like. But of course, it excels at metal, rock, you know, any of those subgenres, heavy metal, black metal, doom metal, anything that you can think of. So one of the first things you'll notice is that I have two identical patches loaded. And this is for double tracking. We have uh, DT Guitar 1 and Guitar 2. They're on the same MIDI channel, different outputs, so I can actually put a different amp sim on each. So I'm gonna enable that now in my host mixer. We'll reset the round robin sequence, I'll explain that in a sec. And now we have this. So obviously you get that big stereo wide sound that you would expect to hear from a shreddage library. For now though, I'm gonna mute the, the second guitar for just a minute and we'll return to just the mono signal to show you some of the features that we've added. So first, let's check out the performance page. Um, you've got some very useful effects that can control the tone of the guitar before you even use host effects. And these have been customized for the exact sound of shreddage 2. So we have a screamer pedal, a tube screamer, which is very commonly used with this kind of guitar that has that thick, rounded sound. A more aggressive EQ. And then of course a compressor, which is gonna bring out some of the attack transients. The string preference here has to do with the new way that we have controlled the playing of the library. If you go to the fretboard page here on the UI, you can see that when I play a note, it corresponds to a virtual fret and a virtual string. And if you play multiple notes, it'll play on multiple strings. With the string preference, you can actually force the library to play on one specific string, which may be useful depending on the kind of style you're writing in. If you just want to riff on, for example, the low A string to get a particular kind of sound. The articulations bank allows you to turn on and off specific articulations, as you might expect. So for example, uh, we can turn off hammer on and pull off. So normally, if I play two notes in a row, it'll hammer or pull if it's within range. I can turn that off and it'll play them both at once. Then we have pinch squeals, tremolo, palm mutes, sustains, power chords, and then portamento. The way that you can control the mapping of these articulations is also new in Shreddage 2. If you go to the Articulations tab, you can turn on and off the articulations, just like on the front page. You can also set the minimum and maximum velocity for each articulation. So for example, let's say you don't like the velocity response by default. You can use the velocity scaling control, which is actually on the engine page, velocity scaling, we'll come back to that. Or you can set the sustains to be just the high velocities, and then the palm mutes can be the lower velocities, like this. Or you can turn off the palm mutes, and then set the sustains to take up most of the range. Now, you'll notice that we have a patch preset system. So if you've made changes like this, let's say that you've messed up the mapping and you're not happy with what you just did, you can go to the performance page, load preset, and now, going back here, everything is as it was before. You can also save your own preset and recall it later. So that's very useful. You don't have to save multiple versions of the patch. You can transport this between projects, no problem at all. 
So besides the double tracking in these controls here, there are much more advanced controls under the engine page in the Legato page. So taking a look at some of these. Velocity scaling allows you to change the response of the library. You can have a light touch, which means you can hit the key light and it'll actually play a higher velocity, or you can have a heavy touch where even if you play hard, the velocity is gonna be lower than it would be otherwise. Uh, you can change the envelopes for the sustains and the mutes, as well as the mute decay time. You can change the vibrato type, uh, also by key switched, from fingered light to fingered heavy and whammy bar. Let's hear what those sound like. Here is fingered light. Here's fingered heavy. And here's the whammy bar. Likewise, we have customizable picking mode, which is also selectable by key switch if you want. You can go from alternating up and down strokes to just down strokes or just up strokes. And you can change this within the sequence if you'd like. The chord threshold feature is useful when you're playing long strummed chords and you want the script to intelligently pick up on the uh, stroke direction. So for example, let's turn this up and let's strum you know, a basic chord. You can see from the interface there that there's a uniform stroke direction, whereas if I played these separately at a slower pace, you would get the alternating stroke directions as you would normally. Tune variation adds a little bit of humanization as you're playing to the tuning of each note. There's also release controls. I'm gonna turn the amp back on to demonstrate this. So this is very useful when you're trying to create a realistic performance. Let's say you're playing some short notes. By turning the release noise up, you get more of that finger noise in between notes that really contributes to that realistic performance sound. There's also pitched releases, which is more useful for uh, sustained notes that you're playing staccato. So for this, let me turn down the sustain release time. I'll turn the normal release noises down quite a bit. You can hear that that adds a lot of sort of uh, roundness to the end of each note. And that's again, very useful for certain styles. So we'll turn that back to default. You can also add obnoxious line noise if you choose. We figured we'd throw that in there for fun. And then there's also an extra pick articulation. And this is actually a very important feature for lead playing. So for example, if I'm playing at a high velocity, and I want to add emphasis to the riff. That's the default attack. Let's turn on extra pick. You can hear that it adds a little bit of extra attack time, about 25 to 30 milliseconds of strumming up to that note. And we can turn that up to hear it even more. I think you'll find that very useful in your own live playing and sequences. There's some other features here and on the Legato page. Uh, rather than go into each and every last one of them, there are actually at least a dozen more, you can hover over in Shreddage 2 and it'll tell you at the bottom of contact uh, what those features do. So for example, anti-repetition, very useful. You'll probably want to put that on. Here's another fun feature that we added in Shreddage 2, unison bending. Um, this is a technique very, very commonly used in metal music where you play two notes on two different strings and then bend just the lower note up to the first note. So for example, this is really an awesome sound. It just sounds absolutely great when you're playing lead parts, rhythm riffs, anything like that. Okay, so now let's check out some of the power chords that we have. We've sampled these all the way down. In fact, let's load the default preset for both. DT Guitar 2. And then let's use both amps at once. So you can hear we've actually added power chord vibrato, and this is authentic uh, using the whammy bar 
It's great for adding emphasis to certain rhythm notes. Great feature. The last thing that I want to show you in this video is the Portamento slide functionality. So this is absolutely amazing for lead parts. And we had Portamento in the original Shreddage, but believe me, this is much, much better. So by default, when you play low velocities and you connect two notes, you get a Portamento slide. So of course, by itself, that's pretty powerful stuff. And then we actually have a whole page of options for the Portamento where you can control the timing, um, you know, the crossfade volume, for example. So it's very, very useful. Um, but what's really nice about this is that you can use it to slide down the neck during a riff. So let's say you play something like this. What I did there was I just played the first note and then I only tapped the second note lightly without sustaining on it. And so what that does is it emulates what a real guitarist would do. They would be constantly, you know, sliding up and down the neck in between notes. You can even do some fun gent style stuff with this feature. It's really, really fun to play around with. It's much improved over the original Shreddage Portamento. And then again, if you want to tweak that, you can always go to the articulations page and you can set that up. Right now, I have it set to lower velocities. That's the default. And then if you have hammer-ons and pulls, that's on the higher velocities, which kind of makes sense. Anyway, that's just a basic overview of Shreddage 2 Absolute Electric Guitar. There's a lot more I want to talk about, but I'm going to show you that in future videos, some of the more advanced options, sequencing techniques, and all that good stuff. You can pick up the library right now for a limited time price of $119. That's with Contact Player 5 and Revolver HPSC included. Existing Shreddage owners can get it for only $99. That's a permanent discount. Uh, you can pick that up anytime. So, in closing, enjoy the music, enjoy Shreddage 2, and rock out. See you later.